Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we've had an awesome person over on Reddit do the math for all the lab coins and stuff that you get from Dismal Maze. So we're going to be looking through that and hopefully give you the information you need to decide whether you want to do Dismal or Normal. So let's get into it. So big shout out to Sonokti. I'm probably butchering your name, dude, but um, big shout out to you for doing all the uh, the math and the legwork on this. Uh, answers a lot of questions that people have it as well. Um, so basically, it goes through the basic rewards. So for Dismal Maze, each rally fight gives 400, each boss fight gives 600. Um, so basically, goes through per floor, um, lab coin total, and then he goes through with the 45% field of stars. So you get 60-90. We'll just, we'll just buzz through to that. That's the key figure. 60, 90 with the 45% field of stars. Uh, later on, he goes to s forward to say that because uh, you unlock a field of stars in chapter 26, I believe it was, you should have the 45% field of stars. So that's why we're calculating with that. So six, 60, 90 per run with that if you clear dismal. Um, so then he goes for normal maze uh, and his control sort of lap coins for the normal maze is 5676. Um, so he said that he's seen people say it gives less. It doesn't give less. It gives about 400 lap coins more per run with a 45% field of stars. So, but that does require once again, you finishing the labyrinth uh, on the dismal, which it is fairly hard. Uh, so, okay, let's keep going down. Uh, people saying, but I got more lab coins in my dismal maze end boss. Uh, what about Riz? Okay. So this one's an interesting one. So instead of Riz, where you can get 10,000 challenger coins, 3,000 guild coins, or 3,000 lab coins, they split it up in this one um, so that each floor's boss will give you either challenger coins, guild coins, or lab coins, but a third of that amount. Um, and he says, why 700 coins? Because 700 is not a third of the yada 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 um and he's saying it's because you get the extra from the other so you get 700 which times three floors is only going to give you 21,000. but because you do get the bonus from the field of stars from that it's actually going to give you uh 1015 which is going to be a little bit more so basically it balances out and this is the point here where he says um but 45 percent extra requires beating 2560 and dismal maze requires beating 2660 so you're going to have that 45 percent by the time you get there um so basically that's that's the first bit of math i want to look at so basically what you're going to get is if you do dismal maze because we'll basically say that um these points cancel each other out yes you get 15 more but basically if you could do dismal maze compared to normal labyrinth or with with hard mode so hard mode labyrinth versus dismal you're going to get 400 more lab coins is the basic gist that you want to know it's a 400 difference um yeah that's about it but i want to go through because he's got some more stuff answering some questions and uh he goes through later on and talks about that there is a quest where you get uh, where you get i think three thousand lab coins for completing dismal once so definitely worth picking that up as well i just want to go through this stuff and then i'll talk a bit about what i'm going to do because yeah okay uh, let's go down to this one. Choosing Dismal Maze will lock me into it for eight days. So there was a bug on the test server that if you chose Dismal, you got stuck in it for eight days. Uh, that's been fixed, so you can choose each whichever one you want next time. Uh, the Floor 2 shield makes enemies immune to damage for 10 seconds. Um, EC's done testing, and I'm pretty sure when I tested it, it was like this. Um, it is just a shield of 50% of their health. Uh, so, yeah, you've just got to burst through it. It's just that they got a lot of health. Um... Completed first slash third floor of arcane labyrinth quests. So that's the one in your in your quest log where it's like complete yada yada yada. Complete the labyrinth so many times it does count towards that. Also the quests, the daily quests and stuff like that. It can it counts towards uh, not the daily the weekly quests. It counts towards those as well. Um, can you do normal maze to get the okay? The one eighty percent bonus thing. I'm still a bit hazy on how that functions, but I think it's if you if you miss the maze, you can get it next time. And people are saying, can you skip the maze on normal to get the dismal bonus? I'm still not sure how this works. I just choose to ignore it and just do the maze every time and not even stress about it. So 
Um, apparently it's been confirmed via VIP chat uh, that alternating doesn't work. So if you were thinking about going from one to the other and trying to get a bonus from the uh, Dismal, doesn't work. Uh, is the Dismal Maze quest for 3k lab coins? This is the one I'm talking about. Um, once claimed, there are no rewards past it. So you complete it once, you get that. There's no like complete Dismal Maze 10 times to get more rewards, nothing like that. Um, and then his TLDR, Dismal Maze gives more lab coins than hard mode, normal maze, assuming you finish it. So that is the wrap up from it. Let's jump back over to the game. So that is the general wrap up of whether you want to do it or not. You're, you're going into it to get an extra 400 lab coins is pretty much the gist. I definitely do it once. I'm gonna jump in here and do it once. You can see um, all the dismal lucks you get, the permitted factions, and we can go begin. Keeping in mind that stuff does change. So the thing about this one, so the first full you start off with one, then you get the next, then you get the next, but um, refreshes in seven days. So that's going to be the refresh of these things that refreshes in seven days. So for me, honestly, like, I don't think I'm going to keep doing dismal. I'm the guy, we'll just go through it because I want to test it because I feel like Irons is just going to be the way to do this and it's just going to be like, that's it. Um, if we go with you that should be fine i mean i think this will just work let's see how this goes oh geez man we do lose health <laughs> man but yeah as i was saying for me i'm just going to stick to normal hard mode um because 400 lab coins is not worth the hassle. I'm the person who is always doing this in my pocket. Like I do Labyrinth on full auto, I chuck it in my pocket and I just let it go. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Like I, I ain't going, I, I don't manual it. I feel like people who have a lot of time, Um, I didn't even check which one I wanted to get. I just went with the path, rip. Yeah, I feel like people who have a lot of time and, you know, to invest into doing this um, and like, you know, you're up to date on absolutely everything in the game, then yeah, this would be all right. But uh, all enemies lose 35% of their current health at the beginning of the battle. Uh, that's what that is. I why did I go that path? I got the bad relic. I didn't even check it. Uh, don't be like me. Um, but yeah, people have a lot of time, you know, you can do this. But for me, like if I have time, I'd rather catch up on, you know, doing other things in the game, you know, faction towers, there's the Misty Valley, there's there's so many other things. You've got alts. Uh, I just think, I, th I personally just think for the 400 extra lab coins, this is not worth it. Um, so yeah, up to you if you want to do it. But I, I, th I feel like for the extra difficulty, to get an extra 400 lab coins, it's just like, uh, wait, remove majority of enemies buffs and targets struck by an ally's normal attack. I wonder if that'll remove their shield on the upper floors. Let's go this one. Let's see. But yeah, let me know in the comments. What are you going to do? I'm very keen to see. I feel like Irons is just going to be a beast for this. And I feel like when it goes to different factions, um, you want some bursty things, but it does depend on what, uh, on what other you know debuffs you get for the maze and stuff like this but i mean as far as this go if, if it's this easy with irons the whole way through um maybe i'll keep doing it while it's this one because it doesn't take too much but uh let's see what the rewards are here so that's only so you got to pay attention here because this gives you a gold box and this gives you a um one of those boxes so that's the other thing to consider you do actually get the extra little reward. So we'll look at this one at the end of it. So we'll, we'll clear this one and we'll take a look at the rewards we get. Let's see. You know, you, you do get you do get the extra experiences and golds and stuff like that. So that is something to consider. So, you know, I'll finish this run 
and we'll see how we go. I might, it, I might like try it each time it resets the debuffs and stuff. And if it's easy for me, then I, I might keep doing it for that reset. But if it's not, then I'm definitely skipping. Um, and depends, it depends how busy I am. If I'm busy enough that like, I really need to manual it and I don't have the time, then I'll just go into the auto of hard mode. But we'll wait and see, let's see. Kill them, kill you. What do we get here? So here we go. You can see we got 333 of the challenger coins. So that is that one. All right, not too bad. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'll come back when we're on the third floor and check out that because the second floor is pretty simple. Okay, here we are on the third floor. This is gonna be the big decider for me on whether I keep doing it because this is the thing I wanna find out if it's gonna be worth me doing. Uh, it, it all comes down to this, basically. So we can burst them down pretty quick. Um, and the key on this one at the moment is if we go here, uh, each time an enemy hero is slain, the hero, uh, no, which one is it? Which one is it? Uh, yada, yada, yada. Is it this one? After 20 seconds of battle. So we've had that one the whole time. I didn't even realize. As long as you can burst them down quickly, it's not too bad. So let's go begin here. And we'll just chuck this on auto. Hopefully we burst everyone down. Might need another Iron's ult here. Please, Iron's, before everyone starts losing health. Oof, okay, that, that one took a while, but not too bad. Oh, I forgot about the double team thing. Oh, rip. Rip. I forgot about this. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about the double team thing. Uh, rip. Big, big fat rips. Have you got gear? You do. Let's just do this. Let's go wilder ham. Let's go that. Let's go that. Hopefully Cyrus can out heal the thingy that's losing us health. Nope. Okay, that sucked. Let's go you there. Okay, we got a heal there, good. Bursty, bursty. Can we get through before Shamira ults? Damn, this sucks. This sucks, okay. Okay, I really wanna be able to do this. I really, maybe we grab the Shamira. Maybe we grab the Shamira and do it this way. Let's try this. Like, I mean, as long as Cyrus stacks up and starts healing, we should be fine. Okay. So that will be my two teams. Imagine if Dimensionals and Wilders weren't allowed. I'd be screwed. I'd be screwed here. Okay. All right. So let's do this. Uh, we may as well just start off with this team, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. Tassy sleep, everyone. Thank you. More heal, please, before everyone dies. Okay, everyone's getting shredded. Wow. Wow, this is bad. This is really bad. Come on, Sarah, she can do it. Kill them. Kill them all. Oh my god, okay, let's go here. Wait, why don't I put Iron on the Gwyneth? That would be like the smart option. Yes. Yes, everyone agrees. Let's put Iron up here. Let's see how this goes. Quick sleep. Them heals. Can we please kill them quickly? Otherwise we're screwed. I mean we do have a fair bit of healing on this team. Damn. Damn, okay. You know what, I'm not even gonna bother with going through any more of this. Uh, the, and this is this is what I mean. This, this is this is where, th this ain't for me. Yes, you get 400 more lab coins and yes, you get extra gold and dust. They would have to make the rewards much, much better to warrant me coming here. Because the, the amount of time and effort, 
if you're if you're like really end game with a hit, like every hero built yes this is probably a bit easy but i don't want to have to retry a stage like two or three times to get it done um that's that's not what i'm about here i'm, I'm about just coming in collecting my reward, rewards and leaving the 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 sort of value prop of time and effort versus rewards it's just not there for me let me know what you guys think is it there for you because now i'm gonna have to grind away at this for a while and try and clear the thing which really does suck anyway guys thanks for watching i hope you have an awesome day and i look forward to seeing the next one cheers